Hello, I'm Kitty Raptor, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I am in dreamland right now, and it looks like my friends are floating dead in space. And, <laughs> um, looks like we're gonna have to hunt down some, ooh, fishies. Not hunt down some fishies, but hunt down some musical people. B, what happened to you? Oh, bye bye B. Oh, what happened to this town? This town isn't how I remember it. Also, when May was at the party, she said something about nightmare eyes. I wonder if she was talking about her dreams. I wonder if this is a recurring thing for her. Ghosts floating everywhere. I have to hunt down a ghost because oh, someone uh, someone's been snatching people. So it's not a good thing. Hey, Greg, when did you start smoking a pipe? Gotta get back up there. I like that fish. It's really cool. Electric blue is one of my favorite colors. I mean, I have a lot of favorite colors, but <laughs> I like all the colors, really. It's just how you put them together is, is how I like it. I think the colors that make me happy the most are, are pink and yellow. Make me happy the most. Oh, I see one down there. Maybe that's how I get back up. This music is very soothing. The accordion guy. There's gotta be somewhere in the woods, I just know it. Or maybe not. Maybe this is the night in the woods. It's just consecutive nights in the woods when I sleep. No, I wanna go go over there. Can I not? Darn. There we go. I have to go around the building. Hello. This is a lot easier than the train one. <laughs> well, I mean, still have to find one more person, but it's still easier. We. Oh, can't get up there. Where is this last guy? Or girl? I don't know who it is. The last person. Mysterious shadowy figure here. There's always been shadowy figures in each of my dreams. Now there's dead people too. Mom told me not to walk on power lines, but here I am walking on power lines. It's dream power lines. Doesn't doesn't count. Doesn't count. This music sounds like the music that would play in line at a haunted mansion in Disneyland. Whee. That goes down there. Okay, where is this other guy? I didn't see him down here. Ah. Hmm. Okay, now I'm lost. I'll see you guys when I find the other guy. I think I found the other guy. New territory over here. Or not. No? Maybe it's new? Yeah, it's new. The second story to the woods. And that's it, right? When that guy started playing the violins, the bells showed up. I don't think violins sound like bells. Oh, there's a violin. 
Yeah, it's so beautiful. Like the fishies. Am I underwater? I feel like I'm underwater. Everything's floating. Space water. All my fins drowned in the river. Whee! I feel like May is affected so much by everything. You know, she's really sensitive, but it's okay to be sensitive. What nightmare do you have for me today? Is it a fish? Oh, it's a crane. Oh, no. Ah. The only thing that got me so far was the bear. That was cool. That was just nature in action. Oh, that's new music. I like that honky tonk. Wake up, May. Time to start the day. I have a futon too. They're they're kind of comfy. Wonder how comfy May's futon is. Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if I read that sentence right. <laughs> Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. What did you eat? Did you get shocked? Are you tasting pennies? Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Oh, Angus, I didn't know you were into astronomy. Also, holly, hi, Shokle. You're so cute. I'll have to play bass on my own time. Maybe I'll record myself playing 100% just so you guys can see that I don't suck. Hey, bird. Sorry, I'm always rude to you. Is there anything new in there? I highly doubt it. I think it was just a tooth. I gotta do some exploring. We don't have time to search for other teeth. Hello, mom. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. They wear me out. I feel like I'm running constantly and jumping around in my dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache commands? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. They need some on and off things. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than 10 hours or so to, or so you get. Oh, I mean more than the 10 hours or so you already get. Well, I've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was, uh, weird. Interesting. Okay, I gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Gotta get out and get some fresh air. Warm up these lungs. Are they gone? <gasps> Ooh, construction's done. I can explore the woods now. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Oh, do I have anything more to say about that? The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. <laughs> I always think about owning a farm too, and then I, you know, think of the smell. Mint. Minty mint. Maid, please don't fall.
Hmm. It's a nice picture. Hmm. <laughs> Bridge freezes before road. Okay. Welcome to Historic Possum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hollow Country. You are not lost, you are here. After this, a few miles and you go under the highway, and it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall, and the haunted, and the haunted barn and bridal. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Way to stay positive, May. Weird that the town ends like... BAM! Right here. There's like a line. Somewhere. And no one can see. But you can put it on a map. It's like, BAM! Right here? Right here is not Possum Springs. But here. Possum Springs. And that's where I stop. Oh. Whee. Hmm. Good meditative spot, I guess. Looks like I live on the edge of town. Alright, time to hunt some ghosts. Let's see. I'm going out with um, B to go to the church. Selmers, I know you got poems for me and stuff, but I don't have time for that. I gotta go ghost hunting. Sorry, dude. I wonder who this ghost friend is. Not a friend, because... Really nasty thing. Back at that pocket brown. Still arguing which they like better, cigarettes or coffee. This music's real spooky-like. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool, I'll help you. But also, maybe it might have consequences? We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me? Oh, cool! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you'd have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well. Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. I need money. Okay, fine. Do you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's get this done. Let's find this ghost. I wonder what spoops will be waiting for us in the graveyard. Suddenly it's night. Foggy. Or maybe it's morning. Morning fog. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know good spooky. I get real sad because it's not here year-round. Oh. B likes a good type of spooky. Spooky spook pook. Spooky spook. Spook pook. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were like actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> well, I mean, you always give me rides, so... Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, Things are like momentarily screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit whoa jeez I meant like a skeleton or something oh right sorry <laughs> okay 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 we'll have a spook off I see something and you make it spookier 
Oh, I like this game. This sounds fun. I'd actually play this in real life. All right. How about this? Okay, so a skeleton outside your window is not entirely scary because it's outside, but once it's inside your house, that is the spookiest thing already. In the hallway, you cannot go to your bed and sleep, and you cannot leave the house. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's whispering things. And he's a health insurance industry exec. Okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. Ooh, it's spooky. Babe, this isn't fun. <laughs> and he's a ghost. Thank you. The whispering ghost of a um, uh, healthcare executive? All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. So what are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Hmm. Maybe we'll find ghosts some other way. So, B is afraid of the healthcare executive. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool. 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 I'll, um, I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like Something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave of three. B. You know, graves, grave robbing, crimes. B. Okay, it's gone. Well, she went this way. I'm not gonna disturb her. I gotta go up here. Okay, I got. I guess I have to go down here with her. Ooh, the lights. Are those fireflies or red lights? The music's getting somewhat spooky. B, I know I said you, I'd leave you alone, but, um, hey. Hey. Is this... Yep. Oh. Yep. I'm so sorry, B. Well, she's got a nice spot. Oh, I'll leave you two in peace. I'm sorry. It's really rough. How come I can't run through the graveyard? And there's no going up there. Okay. Maybe if I go back and I see the um, ghost. Rosie, age 95 years. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had, like, to look out of the window to see a horse. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horse- She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. <laughs> so she saw us, or she saw the whole world? Aww. Catherine Fish, taken by flu, 14 years old. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least... <laughs> you should get off at least one good sentence in life. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure at age 14 you can make a good sentence. Hello? Hey. <clears throat> Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm a, I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, or what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take out the spook all tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I would think it would pay a lot. I'm a wedding wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet man. Not only do you dig graves, but you dig a good beat. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Whenever I get married, I'll call you and get me hooked up. Welp, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Hmm. Brad Boysen. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. I'm gonna guess... <laughs> he was hit by a bike. <laughs> and he crashed his bike, most likely. Oh, yeah, I bet it was like... He was racing to his sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. And he took a dangerous curve too fast and went flying off a cliff. And his last words whispered into the rain in midair were... Actually, I love my bike more. Please, put it on my grave, okay? Jeez, B. How long does a mom take? Mom visit take. TikTok, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. <laughs> yeah, give her time, man. Can I not go? Okay. Maybe I can- I, maybe I should go back and check on- on- up on B. Maybe- Maybe the uh, ghost got her. Hey, so, uh, can I take your job when you die? Because you're pretty old already, right? Okay, good. Well, good to know I can jump here, but what's the point of jumping if I can- Oh, hey, B. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having that sinkhole problem in town? Yeah. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these weird sinkholes a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood, and yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Alright, now we can walk up the hill. That's what I've been wanting. Oh, we have to climb up here now? Oh, I guess not. Whoo! Is this a cult? Weird. <laughs> the weird goth teens strike again. What you guys up to? Ho, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Ha <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. Uh, what's y'all doing? Okay, so we are the gatekeepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We, we govern who shall pass. 
and who shall remain? All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? You may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? <laughs> you can just call it sex, we're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. <laughs> I don't know. May, what happened with Cole? I feel like... I feel like May would. Mm, I feel like May would. Anyway, she would probably lie in the first place, so whatever. Yes. It was fantastic. Really. No, I'm very much lying, Bay. Get with the program here. B, get with the program. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you were talking to me. <laughs> Who? Who did this happen with? Ugh. You don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? Ew. Doing some numbers? <laughs> Get it? Doing some numbers? <laughs> Adding or subtracting? <laughs> what is math camp? You go and like do math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> Ugh, this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are stupid. These are stupid questions. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, don't you want want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. <laughs> like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or girl, but they'd have to be like, grr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. <laughs> so you're gonna wrestle this person? Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. Oh, that's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! One time, I farted in front of the class. Haha! <laughs> That's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. I wanna know what happened at college, May. One time in college, there was this cutie girl I saw at the cafeteria, like a few times a week. I guess our schedule signed up for something, which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Got to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got up the nerve to talk to her and I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around and then, uh, and all I could do is wave. <laughs> Oof. This is funny. And then and uh and then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool and I ran into this door frame right behind me and it's it hurt and I staggered back and and I fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. My face went into the trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flailed until the trash tipped over. And I got up, and the girl had, uh, had, had, she watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile, like, I somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash spaghetti. And, and, and I puked all over myself. No wonder you came home. 
Oh, shut up. Well, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburned. Unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already, jeez. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Oh my god, these th guys are so weird. You have nothing else to do but just sit there and listen to your music and harass people. Not harass them, but make them tell embarrassing stuff. What the heck? So, like, ghosts? Ghosts! Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, but because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? Hmm. What does she look like? I mean, I did see a crocodile. It could be her. It's hard to recognize anyone, but you can get a sense of people. And I am pretty sure I saw her. Really. As far as I can tell, I just want to know she's somewhere and okay. She's somewhere, B, and okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying or if you dreamed it or what, but even if you just made that all up, it was nice of you. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're all locked out by that big ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back. Gotta break this gate. Climb over this gate. I'm a pro at this. I jump in my dreams. I can get over this, no problem. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with the scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that up that gate open? Hmm. Guess I can jump on it? I don't think there was anything over there that could help me. Okay, well there's no going back there right now. I wonder what I could use. Well, I can't go anywhere past here, so I gotta break it down with my fists or find something to break it. B. Just jump. Giving me absolutely nothing to work with here. Oh, okay, there we go. Did you not want to jump, B? How am I supposed to get her over? There's got to be something around here. Maybe a stick or something? That's super weird. Maybe if I jump on something. No. It's got to be a way to break that gate open. But how? Nah, it's just a career idea. Nothing? Nothing? 
nothing in there to help me. I can't go into these little tiny houses. Hmm. How can I do this? Oh, maybe if I break. Um, hang on, I think I know how. Dang it, how did I jump up there in the first place? There we go. Oof. Okay. Well, I broke this tree. I'm probably gonna make someone be born or die. I hope, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna be so sued. I don't think anyone's back here and it's getting late. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you, you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not, allowed, you're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. I'm glad you walk at a moderate pace like me. I'd suck if I'd have to uh, <laughs> keep up with you or you keep up with me. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we need to do? Um, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts. Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No be. You'd know, I'd say. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. I mixed up the voices right there. I wow. Hmm. Nothing over there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the graveyard. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Hmm. But yeah, I don't think we're finding anything. Also, there's red lights everywhere. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. It didn't pop up out of the ground or anything. This, this is what you, is, is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Whoa, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Let me find, can I jump on his grave? Okay, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Oh no, it's a sinkhole. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. You're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. It's not rotting anymore. It's probably all the way gone. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're not doing it. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two, three. What, did I use this? Ooh. <laughs> ah! So 
what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? Or what? Ooh. So, so there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. It's just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh. <gasps> oh, it was the guy. It was the ghosty guy. Oh, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. That was a crime. And did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. May, it was a groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. You don't want your aunt knowing what you're up to, May. Well. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? I saw him. Yo, dad. Daddy-o. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Oh. Gee, I'm sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running around and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much of that. Yeah. I guess if you have a job and you're always running around, you're always in shape. Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. I'm always wanting to see something over here. I never do. Besides mom. Wonder if I got skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Gotta check the mail. Friend mail. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Boring doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry, I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? Mate, seriously, it was a groundskeeper. <gasps> Bay! B, what? He was, like, right there. It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you feel bad. Feel mad. It's fine. It's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Yeah, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do, night dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! Dude. Hey, hey, hey! How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally opened a coffin. And it was like totally the corpse of a ghost. Or, you know, you know what I mean. <gasps> wow! And it was like, effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. I'm gonna go to bed. Good job on, like, uh, all that. You know it, dude. 
Good night as hell, bruh. Good night as if. Oh, okay. I thought I had a message from Angus, but... I guess he's offline now. Okay. Time for Betty Bye. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you liked this one, give it a like. And subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.